is heavy. Okay, guys, today is the second community day for Beldum. Second round, second round. But today, we're just going to take it very chill. We're going to take it very easy. We're not going to like go out and like hunt, hunt, you know. But I am going to catch them all because it is double candy number one. And eggs are going to hatch four times faster. Like, just like the normal community day. So, I'm going to fully take use of this 2x candy for Beldum. So, as you can see here, Beldum just hatched. There's like a lot on the nearby list and stuff. And I don't have any right now, so I'm going to put down an incense. So, chill out day. We're just going to go out, try to hunt some Beldum for today. Enjoy. Okay guys, we have just arrived at our parking space and as you can see, I already caught one shiny. So, good start again, good start again. Uh, but we are not trying to find as many shiny as possible this time. Although, you know, there'll be a good bonus. We are trying to get as many candies as possible because I'm going to max up all six of my Metagross. Or try to get 100% Metagross or something like that. Okay, that's the target today. She, on the other hand, is not going to play because she already have a shiny belt up. She's going to be playing her Professor Layton on her 3DS. So. <laughs> Out, guys, look at how many Beldum there is here. This is stupidly crazy. I I'm gonna take a while to catch this off. Another one bites the dust. Second shiny for today. Um, I'm still hoping for a very good IV one. Uh, hopefully, this could be it. Ah man, the IV's crap. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> back to back. What? <laughs> this is stupid crazy, man. Back to back shiny. I'm loving it. We are going to hatch some 10km eggs right now. Hopefully it's a real loo because we don't have that yet. Not yet. Ah, Chai Mako. Come on now, give me that real loo. Oh, come on, Porygon, are you kidding me? Okay, I know a lot of you who are not in the Asia Pacific is going to complain about this. Like, this is so not fair, like, uh, Asia Pacific is going to get double and everything. Uh, yes, I totally agree. But you must understand that, apart from me, there are people out there who does not had a chance to play last community day. Like, completely, their server was down the entire time. So, in a way, they try to compensate for them. But for people like us that got a chance to play last week, this is a bonus. And it is a bit of an unfair bonus. I would definitely agree because this has double candy as well. So this is ridiculous bonus. Like this is even better than the original community day because original community day was just uh, four times egg hatch, right? This is double candy with four times egg hatch. I, I I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know what to do to make you guys feel better. But move to the Asia Pacific. I don't know. <laughs> I must tell you this, okay? There are a lot of events that's happening in the U.S. and Europe but not Asia, so, you know, take a pick. Keep in mind, there is no such thing as a unknown event. Maybe there's one in Singapore, I can't remember, but there's no unknown event from where I live, so I never attended one of those before. Okay, so anyway, while we're on the topic, and there's like a bunch of Beldums here and there, we're gonna complete our quest for a new Gen 4 Pokemon, which is the Halloween event, right? So here we have, I have not spun 8 new Pokestop because I couldn't find them yet but let's look for this one. This one is a brand new Pokemon. It's called Spirit Tomb. So as you can see here, we have one that is 856 CP. This one requires you to catch 108 Pokemon before you can achieve it. Wow, look at the animation of this guy. It's like so cool. If you guys watch Beyblade, it looks like that, you know, the Beyblade thing. What? And as always, Geeks out! Nice. And now we can do Time is working. spin oh, yes. oh! Yes! New Pokemon in the Pokedex. Awesome. And that concludes our new Pokemons for the Halloween event. Here it is! Spiritum! Sorry to interrupt the time lapse, but 
I found another shiny. Hopefully this is a better IV one because I have yet to find a good IV Beldum. I mean shiny Beldum, right? Uh, it's a good one though. It's above average. Okay, back to the time lapse. Finally! Oh my god! This took more than half an hour plus to find the next shiny. Okay, I think that's the fifth shiny. Fifth shiny for today. At the same time, I already stacked up 1,200 candy, you know. That's, okay, it's above average. It's not that great. Yes. <laughs> my sixth Beldum. And we have like 40 minutes before the event ends. So, yeah. Come on, give me something good. Certainly, oh man. Okay, so uh, before we conclude Belden Day for today, it's not really a conclusive episode without an evolution, right? So we're going to evolve one of our shiny Belden right now. Let's evolve it right now. Here we go. So after this last evolution, I have completely, I have six Metagross and I'm going to max them. Well, I'm going to max the best ones out so that in the end we're going to have six steel attackers in the future. I can never get tired of this evolution line because it looks so epic. It looks so cool. There we go. Shiny Metagross for you guys. Okay, as you guys can see, it's nightfall right now and we have a Giratina raid that's going to hatch. Now, the thing is, if you haven't seen my last episode, actually my memory from my phone crashed and all the saving I had like just disappeared so I made an animation, as you can see, of Final Fantasy vs Giratina. Go check it out, I thought it was kind of hilarious when I did it. But anyway, hopefully this time we're going to capture the entire battle, although I think it's a bit bo more boring than the Final Fantasy battle. Uh, then after that, after that we have something that we're going to try out, okay? So we are about to finish chapter 2 of the spooky message, right? We just need to spin 8 Pokestops we haven't visited before. So around my housing area, there are some Pokestops I've never seen or never actually been to because it's kind of inside a park area. So we're going to do that. 8 Pokestops, really quick, in and out. Yeah, hand gestures. Yeah, this guy that looks like a centipede with wings. God, that's a nightmare. I don't even think about that, you know? That's that's a hor horrible nightmare. Take it back. Take it back, I take it back. <laughs> God, do not create that shit, okay? Do you pronounce it as Giratina or do you pronounce it as Giratina? Without asking anyone before. Like, what was your first impression when you see this, sen uh, this name? Because Truthfully, I thought it was Giratina. No lie. I didn't think it was called Giratina. But, you know. Good job, Pokemon. If you guys didn't know, I changed my phone. And this is a little bit harder to catch because I'm not used to the bigger screen. So, yeah. Hopefully the quality of the uh, eye f of the footage and stuff is better than my previous phone. They're both for England. Yes! Got it! Okay, first Pokestop. Here we go. Ah, yes. Okay, that's another one down the road there. And we have to U-turn to this side. There's three of them here. And then we have to find more on the other side. So apparently this new Pokestop is somewhere inside this park area. And you guys can't really see me, but if you can look at the screen here, it's somewhere around this path here. And it's a bit creepy because it's very dark and I don't want to get, you know, serial killed or something like that. So let's just run to that side first. This is a bit creepy, not gonna lie. Spin. Ah, perfect. All right, that's two. Let's go. Third one. Yeah. And we're approaching another poker stop, but this one is an area that I don't even know if it has even internet. Ah, perfect. Did it work? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, that worked. Okay, I'm at a dead end area, and I don't know what I'm doing here. Also. This is what happens when you try to hunt for unspun Pokestops. Big problem, you know? Here we go. Ah, oh, finally! Woo! Okay, let's get the last one. Okay, the final Pokestop has to be somewhere near a park again. And it's really dark, so... Why is it that all the Pokestops I want to go to is in a park? 
at night. Well, I chose at night, so that's kind of my fault. Okay, I'm stepping on mud. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, hopefully nothing come and attack me here. Okay, here it is, here it is. Last poker stop. Oh, we did it. Spin eight poker stops. Whew. All right, I'm gonna claim it right here, right now. And claim reward. Oh yeah. All right, 10 poker balls. And eight silver pineapple berry. Okay. Let's talk about this in the car. Okay, so this is what Professor Willow has to say. It seems that we have a spooky brush with Spirit Tomb. I can't tell if it's the weather, but I got the shivers. You know, I feel confident that we can solve anything together, even when things get scary. It is Halloween, by the way. I'll be touched soon. So, okay. Wow. So, that's it. Chapter 3 is claim all 3 free EXP and get 18 and 1080 Stardust. 18 candies, wow. So that's it. Alright, so we are done with the special research for the spooky message, you know, Halloween event. And yeah, I think that will be it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys finished your Halloween uh, special event as well. And I'll catch you guys next one, which most likely is going to be special raid day for Gengar. Yeah, so I'll see you guys then.